Hello everyone, this is Bhushan back again with another video. In our previous lecture, we have written two common methods for our application. The first method is for opening a connection and the second method is for closing a connection. So in this lecture, let's write two more common methods for the same application. So the first method is for insert, delete and update operation and the second method is for retrieving the records from the database. So without wasting our time, let's get started. I have opened the dbutil.java file. So after the db disconnect method, I will write the method. So public static void. I'm gonna call this method as db execute query. And this will accept a string as a parameter and this will throws an SQL exception and this will also throw an exception called class not found exception. So the first thing we need to declare a statement. Statement is equal to statement and I'm gonna set to a null. The next thing is inside the try block and this will catch the SQL exception and system dot dot print and problem occurred at db execute query operation And we will throw an exception. Okay, like I said, this method is for insert, delete, and update operation. In order to execute those SQL statements, we need to get the connection from the database. So, but we have already written a common method for getting the connection to a database. I will simply call this method inside the try block db connect. And after this, once we get the connection, we will get the connection object. Using that connection object, I will create a statement. Create statement and this will give a statement. And using this statement, I'm gonna call the execute update method. And for this, we will pass our SQL statement. So once the execution has done, we need to close the database connection. For that, I will write a finally block. Finally, inside the finally block, first I will check if the statement is not equal to null because we need to close the statement first. If the statement is not equal to null, then we will close the statement. Once the statement is closed, we will close the database connection. But we have already written a method for closing a connection also. I will simply call this method. This is why we have written a common methods. In order to close the database, we will just call the common methods instead of writing it from the scratch. Let's call the database closing method that is db disconnect and save this. So that's all about this method. This method is for insert, delete and update operation. And this method will accept a SQL query and we will pass a SQL query to this method. Depending upon the SQL query, this method will perform the operation. If the query is an insert operation, then this method will insert a record into a database. This query is for a update operation, update query, then this method will update the record to a database. If the SQL query is a delete query, then this method will delete the record from the database. Let me write a comment about this method. This is for insert delete and update operation all right let's write a one more method that is the last common method this is for retrieving the records from the database public static and the return type of this method is result set because when we execute this method we will get a database records. The database record should be of type result set. So this method will return a result set. And I'm gonna call the method name as db execute. And for this method we will pass a SQL query. 
SQL query and this will throw an exception class not found exception and also this will throw an exception called SQL exception SQL exception and inside this method let's declare a statement statement is equal to I will assign a null result set and also catch it throw set implementation I will assign a null and inside the try block this will catch an SQL exception System not on the and error occurred in db execute operation. This will throw an exception. And after this, we will write a finally block. So inside the try block, first of all, let's get the connection. In order to get the connection, we have already write a common method. Let's call the common method that is db connect. Inside this, using a connection object, we will create a statement and this will give us a statement. Using this statement, we will execute the query and this will, for this we will pass a SQL query and this will give us a result set and once we got the result set, now we will create a catch a row set implementation object. row set implementation and this uh, this will give us a let's create a reference variable so this will give us a so using this reference variable we will call the populate method and for this populate populate method we will pass a result set object so now inside the finally block we have to close the database connection so in order to close the connection we have already write a common method Let's call the same method. Before that, let's first of all close the statement and also we will close the result set object. If result set is not equal to null, then close the result set. If the statement is not equal to null, then close the statement. And after this, we will call the disconnect method db and disconnect. So after this, we will return a result set, or we can return a catch a row set implementation object. All right. So these are the two most common methods that will be used widely in our application. So this method is for insert, delete, and update operation, and this method is for the retrieving the record from the database. This is for retrieving the records from the database. So finally we have written all the common methods in our utility class. So in our next video we will design our employee form. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in next video.